what is THCA? Like, how is it different than THC? What's going on? Why is it so popular? I have two different things on the back of my label. One says THC, one says THCA. Can you make edibles with THCA? What is going on here? There's so many questions going on in the industry. So I kind of want to keep this simple without getting too scientific of the main differences. But we'll start with a little science off the rip. THCA, tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, is what it is. First, THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. As you can see how they sound, THC, A, THC, very similar. There's just an A right there. So essentially what that is, is it just has an extra carboxylic group. Look at me, I said I'm not going to get too scientific, but I'll try to get a little more simple. Essentially, think of the THCA molecule just being a little bigger, so it can't really be absorbed in your receptors in your brain. We all have a CB1 and CB2 receptors that are responsible for how we kind of feel when we consume cannabis. Now, that's just the rip. That's about as scientific as it's going to get, because I want to keep this super simple for you guys and talk about, firstly, why is it so popular right now? It's because it's a loophole in the hemp industry. So these hemp companies see that they can essentially have regular weed as long as it's under that 0.03%, they will be good. And there's and to address that real quick too, a lot of these um, THCA flowers on the market, if you actually test them, they probably will be a little higher in THC. The fact of the matter is it could be the lab, it could be a fake COA, or it could actually be legit and it could be bred perfectly in the genetics, could be just right to have it under that threshold. So there's a couple different things going on there, but essentially all this THCA flower is essentially regular weed, dude. And if you go to even medicinal shops, recreational shops, often look at the back of your packaging. There's two different things there, THC percentage and THCA percentage. You'll notice the THC percentage is way lower. That is because it's probably formed that THC throughout the curing process. Um, depending how hot the room was, even when it could even, you know, get a little more THC in there, depending how hot the dispensary was, let's say. But that other THCA in there, let's say it's 25%, is sitting there waiting for heat to be added. So in order to necessarily get high from that flower, you need to add heat. So you need to vape it. You need to add a flame to it, joint, bong, bowl, whatever, blunts you're smoking. Or if you're making infusions, some of our favorite things to do here, you need to put it in the oven. You could put it in the mason pot jar. There's other ways to make it happen to activate it. So essentially the THCA is sitting there dormant until heat is added, guys. So I think that's important to remember here. So that's the loophole. That's why it's so popular. And that's why they're about to, I think, crack down on it on this next farm bill re-up here. When they're looking at it again and seeing all this and, and truth in some of the videos I've already made, the cannabis companies are getting upset because they've spent all this time, right? and money investing in their dispensaries, investing in the delivery, and all of a sudden, John Smoke Shop down the street can sell regular flour. So I think it's just what America is too. You gotta do what you gotta do to compete. So I've worked for several companies in the past where I'm like, let's get on the hemp side. Let's hit both targets here, and let's build that you know brand awareness so when things down the road maybe do come federal, even if it's a reschedule thing that works a little better, we can be there. And you see this in the beverage space a lot. Hemp, look at Minnesota killing the, TH, uh, the hemp beverage game, the D9 hemp beverages. They're killing it. That's a whole other video. And I don't want to digress too far from THCA. So those are kind of the main things I wanted to address. That was why it's so popular, the loophole, how some of it might even be a little different than you think. But at the end of the day, it's all essentially cannabis. Now, that being said, all cannabis isn't created equal. I did a really cool video and podcast too on um, just chemicals and cannabis. I'll link that video below. I worked for a company out of Santa Barbara that does spray-free, no pesticides. And that was mind-blowing when I worked for them. And it really opened my eyes to what is going on in the industry. And I'm sure you've seen, or maybe you haven't, especially in California right now, there is a huge crackdown on vapes having other contaminants in them, other chemicals that weren't necessarily tested for. So there's this huge wave right now of people diving more in and trying to dial it in a little more and get more accurate lab results. That's why I think that company is ahead of their time in a lot of ways. And that's what I look for when I'm looking for flour. And of course, you don't always know again. Even if you look at the COA, again, they're redoing stuff and you, you kind of never know unless you know somebody that's growing, you know you have a company that is legit like Autumn Brands who's doing fully organic, or you're the grower yourself who's growing it. And I'm digressing from the THCA point, but I think it all kind of aligns with the fact that THCA is regular weed, dude. It is just being marketed differently, and there's loopholes really being worked, and I think it's going to crack down. Look, 
There's even THCA, live rosin, resin, diamonds, all this stuff. And they're really working the system, dude, to make this happen. And it's kind of mind blowing. And I, in a video, I said, there's no THCA vapes that I've seen and straight THCA vapes in the hemp market. I wanted to double down on that. And there's um, some funny comments that people are saying too on some of these shorts, what inspired me to do a little deeper dive on THCA and what exactly it is. So I hope this video finds you guys well. Let me know if you have any questions on THCA and we'll get them addressed.